It, it'd be an unreal sin. Well, let me tell you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Come, come to my room right now. Right now, we'll look at the land right back here. It's 40 acres for sale back there. Right behind the school. We had some land down off of uh, Thomas Road, but it was 18 acres. It wasn't enough. Wow. We need at least 20, and we needed room to grow, too. But right now, the plan is in July, we're going to break ground. And uh, it's 65,000 square foot building. Four times what you're sitting in right now, including the, the back area now. It's going to have uh, uh, out on the outside part of it, have a concession stand that will will take care of every bit of the outside facilities. They'll have two soccer fields. One soccer field will be a football field and put it in. For the, um, whoever you use, school or whatever. This is going to be for the community. It's for this organization. And it's for, uh, uh, you know, we'll rent things out. We'll be doing some rentals and things like that out. The schools will be able to use it. Uh, but a $10 million site sitting right here in Welcome, North Carolina. They think we're the number one in North Carolina now, sports program. They ain't seen nothing yet. We're going to the top in the United States. It ain't going to be just in North Carolina. It's going to be the whole country. Two ball fields. Again, what I'm telling you right now, we're not setting stone on any of this. One of the things I did with the coaches here in high school last week was sent them an email asking them in a perfect world, what would you like to see? And when some of them come back to me, and it's definitely a perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, that's what we want. We want, to, we, want to, we want this thing to be the best. We want people, when they come in here, they want to come back. You know, we're going to, hey, believe it or not, you may see a hotel in the North Carolina Sports Hotel. You never thought you'd probably see it, but it could happen. Several hotels. Restaurants and uh, uh, convenience stores and whatever else. But it's, it's going to happen because we're going to bring it in here before we have to come in here. Six tennis courts, a playground, a picnic area, whatever, in between tournaments and games or whatever. Kids, are, kids and fans will be able to go out there and eat, eat their lunch between tournaments. Teams can go out there and spend time during tournaments or whatever. But there's going to be a facility out there for them to be able to eat, eat their lunch, picnic tables, playgrounds, and all for the kids. There'll be a fitness trail to be around the place. Uh, inside, there'll be four basketball courts. You'll walk through the front door, and there'll be a desk up front, and there'll be basketball courts that run to this direction here. There'll be four of them. One across, one across, one across that way, and one here. With a cat off center, one out in the middle of it. And then the top of that thing will be a uh, running track. Four volleyball courts, full-size locker rooms. The locker rooms will be under the catwalk in between the two courts and the back area of the facility. So there will be access in that one building because there's locker rooms in the middle. There will be a computer room for the kids to do homework or whatever they need to do in there. There will be a, a type of media type of area in there. There will be a weight room. There will be a, uh, uh, a uh, aerobics area for uh, aerobic machines and things like that. Laundry room, equipment room, uh, all your closets for janitorial supplies, whatever you need to put in those. A good conference room that holds 100 people. In that conference room, will be a projector that we can use in there that if the teams here at North Davis or wherever it is wants to go in there and watch football films from Friday night or basketball games from Tuesday and Friday nights, and they want to go in there and watch things, they go in there and be able to see that on a projector for the kids. A food and beverage area. Uh, we talked, Danny down here on the end is uh, the owner of uh, Little Italy down here. We talked to him about putting a pizza in the place so that we can make pizzas right there in the class and uh, be able to serve pizza. But there'll be a uh, food and beverage area that, that you'll be able to eat and sit around and talk or whatever. Uh, big screen TV for, for whoever during basketball tournaments or whatever tournaments is there, volleyball. Whatever it may be, you'll be able to, uh, people will be able to go there and watch TV during, you know, if somebody wants to see a Carolina basketball game, I don't know why you would, but if there's one going on, <laughs> whatever, you walk there to the TV and watch it. <laughs> bag cages. The plan is to put six bag cages in. 
Right now, I think the school goes up north of town somewhere to Baton Gate. Everybody will walk out the door here, probably. I know this from here. Uh, we can put a dock in, man. Anybody wants to come and hit the dock box and get into a mat there in the school. I mean, in the uh, facility. Uh, indoor track will be around the top. It, that also, that catwalk will be couches and things up there that, that and, and desks and stuff that kids will be able to do their homework in the afternoons and, and uh, couches and all that. Uh, uh, that you can go sit and watch basketball games down low and you can sit up there and watch those. Uh, there will be wireless access throughout the facility, so anywhere you're sitting in that facility, you can put your computer up, you're sitting in a chair upstairs or downstairs or wherever it may be, you'll have access to that. Most likely the lighting, the whole facility, the bathrooms, gym lights, everything. Everything will be motion sensitive to where, you know, after a certain period of time it cuts off and there's no motion there, outside and inside. Yep. Uh, a pool. Right now, this school here goes to the same state to do their uh, swimming and their meets and everything. The plan would be to put a uh, uh, swimming pool in here. For the school to build, have their meetings, and, and uh, again, all this stuff not just for the school; it's for the community. It's for whoever uh, wants to be a part of it. You know, there be some probably some type of membership to it. Uh, the organization will have a special membership to it. The schools will have a special membership to it. Everybody outside of that may be in a different situation. Programs: We'll have an after-school program for kids. Uh, they'll come in, you know, they'll get a snack and a drink and whatever else, and they'll have a area they'll go into their homework before they do anything else. Uh, there'll be vans to pick up kids in schools. Uh, we'll also work out with the school system, the Davis County School System, to be able to bring kids in here from local elementary schools and middle schools that are part of our program. Uh, they'll be able to come in here and uh, uh, they'll be able to come in here, bring their kids, and drop them off by here, the ones that are, that are in our program. Uh, vans for the teams to travel, whether it's a softball team, a baseball team, a football team, whatever. It's not, it's not just about basketball. That's the reason why it's called the travel sports. It's, it's going to be anything. Anybody that wants to come in and join us that's not part of our, our organization now will have the opportunity to come in and, do, and join us. Uh, We'll also have a kid, a big kids program. So we'll work with the kids that, you know, that uh, maybe needs a little bit of work on some weight. Maybe some of us parents too. But uh, there'll be, a, be a, a fit program there to work with the kids and, and lose some weight if they need to lose weight. And get them on a, 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 a more healthier trip than what they may be on right now. Um, we'll even have a date night drop off program where you can drop your kids off here. Somebody told me she's going to drop the wipe off too. Not that she's talking. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. So, I don't know if they're dropping the wipe off. Tell me. There'll be a night that you can do that where you can drop your kids off and then your significant other wants to go out and do whatever. All the facilities, all the fields and everything will be irrigated. Uh, everything will be gas here, gas facility, not like electrical, because electrical will cost about four more than that. Right. Any gas is done. Uh, any questions? What is it going to be like? Are you going to have volunteers to help run it, or is it going to be? There will be some volunteers. There will be a staff that will be hired, probably. Uh, Six, eight people will be hired. Uh, we'll go out and find the best in the, uh, in the programs. Uh, actually, the, in the programs, uh, kids' programs, things like that, needs to be someone that has a profession in that and uh, fitness programs and whatever else. There'll be, uh, you know, the landscaping and everything, everything brought in. We, we probably do those things just because that's not, uh, that's not what we dare to do. We'll probably hire people in to, to take care of the place. Again, my, my plan is, is once we get down to the nitty gritty of design and detail things, I will probably get with people that, that have been to tournaments. One reason I ask you guys if you know of anything that you'd like to see in the facility or the grounds or whatever, you need to send us an email on because